Welcome back, Title Shiners. Um, in this episode today, we'll be taking a look at my um, Figures Inc. 2001 WWF um, Big Eagle. We'll be having a detailed look at this. Um, also, I've now got an Instagram account if anyone wants to follow. It's d at WWE.RTS. Um, so, any followers over there, I've just post photos of belts my, from my collection and just belts in general and other stuff that's similar. Um, I've also got another belt over at Paul Martin's at the moment, getting re-leathered, and a few tweaks made to it. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but um, it will be pretty cool once it's done. So um, there's also that to look forward to in the coming future. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to actually go through all my current belts and give certain detailed reviews on them and maybe a bit of history and whatnot because back in my old videos didn't really go in depth in any of them so that's what we've got to look forward to I think on this channel for the moment um, let's get on with it and here she is the WWF Big Eagle now this belt has been re-leathered I'm um, not actually sure who it has no markings to tell me who did it but it may have even been the previous owner of this belt that I bought it off and that would be in one of my late last videos, so about seven years ago or so, um, bought this belt. Start off at the back. If you can see, it's all been covered up at the back. The screw's covered. And I'll tell you what, it's a very clean finish when it's done properly at the back. A little mark there in the leather. Nothing to con be concerned about though. And here we go. Now first of all, as I think most of us can agree on, it is a stunning design for a belt. Um, it has these side bars that are actually attached to the plate, so that's just paint, not an actual gap. But it obviously pays homage to the uh, winged eagle that came before this. Okay, so I'll start on the end here. So we have a nice snap box here with some nice tooling. The leather itself, when it's real leather, it's my only real leather belt at the moment, um, just so much more shinier. And it's just so flexible, I mean, in comparison. I'll demonstrate that soon. This belt does have two millimeter thick plates um, with the white painted WWF logos on the side plates, but not on the center plate. Now this is how the rec replica belt came, but the gold logoed version actually had gold logos all around and a fully gold six plate. Um, and that was debuted by The Rock the night after Survivor Series 1998 and lasted all the way up until the white logo version which had white logos like these and also a white WWF logo on the main plate and that debuted one week before No Way Out in 2000. Um, that was held by Triple H at the time and that ended up going on um, until it was changed to the Undisputed Championship in 2002, the night after WrestleMania 18. We have the lion here, which pays, which you can see um, is also on the Undisputed Championship. So obviously that took from this. So I do love how there's an evolution in all the belts. So sort of step-by-step -step paying homage back to the previous belt or even previous belts. Um, very cool little touch. Then you got another white WWF logo. The plates aren't thick, only two mil, but I mean, this belt is, it just can't be replicated. I mean, Figures Inc. Um, haven't made them in nearly 20 years, so it's very cool to actually have the chance to own this belt. Um, okay, we've got the center plate. It's a beautiful light blue, much like the oval IC. So I've got little globes here on the side, with little gems too. Now this belt is in perfect condition, as you can see there's a little scrape here. Um, 
but it all just adds to the charm in my opinion. And then of course we have the Big Eagle, which I think the Eagle on belts just looks phenomenal personally. We have the globe in the center with obviously as to be expected, a bit of paint spills over the um, longitude latitude lines. We have World Wrestling Federation, which realistically, as we know, that um, gives the belt all its value. We have the writing on the side of the plate, on either side, which you can actually read, it's got a bit of um, depth to it. Then we have the champion banner along the bottom, and this nice frilly design here, which is also like the winged eagle. Um, but that was more on the side plates from just memory right now. With the gold WWF logo. I mean, I have considered painting it white. It's just I get too nervous to do it myself. I may get around to it one day. Um, I've got the shell tooling around the outside of the strap too. There's the bar again. The wings themselves actually look awesome with the sort of feather texture behind it. For a two millimeter plate, it actually does show a lot of depth in my opinion. Um, I've also added a slight curve to the belt. I mean, it's nothing dramatic, um, but you can notice it from the top. There you go. Um, just makes all the difference, which is one of the perks of the two mil plates. Then on the other side, we have the line with the WWF logo on top this time, and the McMahon family crest. I believe the real one actually had the white background instead of the white lions, but there you go. Um, the text, you can actually kind of read. I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, it's better than the Undisputed version 2, the old uh, original version that I've showed the comparison video of which is now actually sold. Um, and then a WWF logo plate again on the side. And there is no six plate on mine. Um, it was actually an option in the WWF magazine at the time, back in the day. Um, so I've just actually got the five plate version, which I don't believe there was one on TV, but uh, this is a bit of a hybrid anyway with the white logos and then the gold logo in the middle. A uh, bit of a hybrid of all versions, um, excluding the block logo version with the blue strap. We have the snaps on this side too, and there's no mark, to, uh, nothing to show who did the strap, so still have no idea. But it's been been a good job. I'll tuck it underneath. Go, sits a lot flatter than your replicas do. You can just sit it with everything which way you want. I do definitely see the value in the real straps. Um, there we go on the shoulder, a nice size belt. Almost as tall as the Undisputed, uh, center plate wise, but definitely not um, as wide. Um, so there you go, that's a bit of a detailed, more detailed look at my WWF Big Eagle. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and look forward to filming the next one for you guys. Thanks again for watching guys.